Light is the fastest thing we know in the universe, yet even it takes over four years just to reach the star closest to us outside our solar system. That's right, even if you could hitch a ride on a beam of light, you still wouldn't make it there in a single lifetime. But here's the wild part. What if we could break that limit? What if we could go 10 times faster than light? It sounds like pure sci-fi, but science is inching closer to making the impossible possible. So strap in, this journey's about to blow your mind. Before we dive in, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're into space, science, and future tech, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Scientists may have just cracked open the door to something we've only dreamed about, zipping across the universe at speeds 10 times faster than light. What once sounded like sci-fi, warp drives, hyperspace jumps, is starting to get real, like lab prototype real. Researchers are racing to turn these once impossible ideas into tech that could cut space travel from hundreds of years down to just decades. Imagine dinner in a star system light years away. Sounds crazy, right? But maybe not for long. Before you start packing for Alpha Centauri, though, let's rewind a bit. Ever since Einstein dropped his theory of special relativity back in 1905, we've believed one thing for sure. Nothing with mass can travel faster than light. Why? Because to do that, you'd need infinite energy, aka a fuel tank bigger than the universe. Light speed is no joke. 299,792,458 meters per second. That's how fast sunlight hits Earth in just eight minutes. Pretty fast. Until you zoom out, that same light takes over four years to reach our closest star neighbor, Proxima Centauri, and crossing the Milky Way, try 100,000 years. So yeah, space travel as we know it is painfully slow. But here's the twist. New scientific breakthroughs might be about to flip the script. Faster than light travel is stepping out of sci-fi and inching into actual science. The first team to make it work? They'll be legends, basically leaving Einstein in the dust and turning space travel from a slow motion crawl into a warp speed joyride. Let's be honest, space travel right now is like trying to cross the ocean in a rowboat. Even our fastest spacecraft, the Parker Solar Probe would still need over 70,000 years to reach the nearest star. You'd have to launch during the Ice Age just to show up now. With today's tech, the stars might as well be just shiny dots on a postcard. Rockets are glacial compared to the vast emptiness between planets and stars. Even our wildest propulsion ideas still don't get us anywhere within a human lifetime. For decades, physics has been like a grumpy gatekeeper, no faster than light travel allowed. But that mindset is changing. A new wave of scientists isn't asking if we can break the rules, they're asking how soon. They're not just dreaming of space, they're building the blueprints to reach it faster than we ever thought possible. Suddenly, faster than light travel isn't just some cool sci-fi idea, it might actually be key to our survival. At first, talk of warp drives and space-bending tech sounds like something ripped straight out of a Star Trek marathon. Fun to think about? Definitely. Realistic? Not so much. Or so we thought. But dig a little deeper and things start to get serious. Let's be honest, if Earth ever becomes unlivable, and the way things are going, that's not exactly far-fetched. We've got nowhere else to run. Mars? Too cold and dry. Titan? Literally a frozen, gas-covered rock. Not exactly dream destinations. That's why faster-than-light travel isn't just a pipe dream. It could be humanity's lifeline, a literal escape route when we need it most. The urge to explore is in our DNA. We've crossed oceans, climbed mountains, and now we launch telescopes into deep space, chasing the next big frontier. And guess what? That frontier is getting clearer. Out there, just a few light years away, are worlds like Proxima Centauri b and the planets orbiting TRAPPIST-1. These aren't just random rocks floating in the dark. Some of them look shockingly Earth-like. The catch? They're so far away, we might as well be staring at paradise through a locked window. 
But what if we could unlock it? That's why this isn't just about curiosity anymore. It's about hope. It's about building a future where we're not stuck on one fragile planet, but reaching for the stars. Literally, faster than light travel could be the game changer that finally lets us reach those distant worlds. But here's the catch. From most of modern science, going faster than light has seemed about as likely as turning lead into chocolate. Sounds fun, totally impossible. Einstein's laws of physics have been pretty clear on this. Nothing with mass can hit light speed, let alone pass it. Why? Because the closer you get to light speed, the more energy you need, until, eventually, you'd need infinite energy. Basically, it'd be like trying to power your phone with a lightning bolt. Awesome in theory, but good luck not frying everything in sight. That's why for years, Faster than light travel has been stuck in the sci-fi only bin. Something for philosophy debates, space operas, or sleep-deprived physicists scribbling on napkins at 3 a.m. But then someone like Miguel Alcubierre showed up, a genius mathematician with a passion for equations and a love for Star Trek. Instead of trying to break the rules, Alcubierre looked for a loophole, and he found one. What if we can't go through space faster than light, but we can bend space itself? That's right, warped space, not speed. Picture it like this. Instead of racing across the highway, you fold the road and bring your destination to you. Suddenly, this idea wasn't just nerdy wishful thinking. It was a real mathematical model, published and taken seriously. Welcome to the new frontier, where quantum weirdness isn't just some niche TED Talk topic. It's the battleground of cutting-edge physics. Old-school physics. Newton's clean logic and even Einstein's brilliance is starting to feel a bit outdated because now we're dealing with things that sound like they belong in a Marvel script. Antimatter, dark energy, vacuum fluctuations, and space-time behaving like some kind of stretchy cosmic origami. The universe isn't just balls rolling down ramps anymore. It's made of probabilities, phantom particles, and bizarre forces we're just beginning to understand. And that understanding? it could open the door to traveling faster than light. In today's cutting-edge world of physics, the old rule book, the one that says nothing with mass can go faster than light, is starting to show some serious wear and tear. Instead of trying to rocket a spaceship through space like a bullet, some scientists are flipping the whole idea on its head. What if you don't move the ship at all? What if you bend space around it, like yanking a rug so you slide across the room without taking a step? Your ship stays perfectly still. No violent acceleration, no crushing g-forces, no bizarre time warp making you return to Earth centuries after you left. Just a smooth, quiet ride through a fold in reality. Sounds insane, right? Maybe. But here's the weird part. It's not all just science fiction anymore. Some of these mind-bending ideas are actually grounded in real, observable physics like time dilation and length contraction. Back in the day, that stuff sounded like straight-up sci-fi nonsense. Now, we've measured it. We've built satellites and GPS systems that literally depend on it working. Still, going faster than light opens a whole can of paradoxes. Like, what happens if your spaceship shows up before it even leaves? Could you stop your own launch? Or eat lunch before you order it? Yeah, it's the kind of thing that keeps physicists awake at night, scribbling on whiteboards and questioning everything we think we know about time and reality. But instead of throwing in the towel, they're getting creative. New warp drive concepts are popping up that avoid the old problems entirely, not by using traditional engines, but by manipulating space-time itself. And here's the real kicker. The original Alcubierre warp drive needed some wild stuff to work, like negative energy or exotic matter that we've never actually seen. But now, newer models are scaling back the crazy. Some versions don't even need exotic matter at all. Of course, we're not quite ready to fold the universe like a blanket just yet, but for the first time, we're not just imagining warp travel, we're running the numbers and figuring out how it could actually work. Most warp drive ideas today? Let's just say they come with some serious quirks. Think random energy spikes 
or accidentally tearing a hole in the space-time continuum. Not exactly what you want on your morning commute to Alpha Centauri. But here's the thing, excitement in this field is off the charts. Word on the street is that behind closed doors, places like NASA and SpaceX are burning the midnight oil, quietly chasing the warp dream. And honestly, are you even surprised? Here's where it gets really interesting. We're no longer just daydreaming about warp drives. We're actually doing the math, running the tests, and tweaking the theories. And out of all that ambition, three major warp drive models have risen to the top. These aren't your typical rocket concepts. These ideas flip everything we thought we knew about movement. Instead of pushing a ship through space, they aim to move space around the ship. Think about that. Warp literally means to bend, twist, or distort. And now, it's the key to an idea that could let us break the universe's biggest speed limit without ever actually speeding. So instead of flying through space, what if space moved around us? That's not just science fiction anymore. It's inching closer to science fact. It all started back in 1994, when physicist Miguel Alcubierre dropped a mind-blowing idea, a warp bubble that could carry a spaceship across the stars, while the ship itself stayed perfectly still. No time warp, no g-forces, no impossible fuel demands. How? By shrinking space in front of the ship and stretching it behind, like surfing a wave of warped space-time. But there was one massive hitch. His model needed something we've never actually found, exotic matter with negative energy density. Basically, magic fuel. Picture designing the perfect car that runs on fairy dust. Still, the idea caught fire. Scientists jumped in, creating variations, like the Natario drive, which reworked the math to try for more stability. Better on paper, but, yep, still needs those exotic energy types we haven't figured out how to make yet. Then in 2021, something wild happened. Dr. Harold White, a NASA physicist and head of a cutting-edge propulsion lab in Texas, made a jaw-dropping discovery. While studying quantum phenomena, specifically the Casimir effect, his team accidentally created something tiny but revolutionary, a nanoscale warp bubble. Yeah, you heard that right, a real warp bubble created in a lab. Let that sink in for a second. We're not talking about warp theory on paper anymore or in some sci-fi novel. We're talking about real warp geometry tested in an actual lab. And it gets better. Dr. Harold White's updated math shows that building a warp bubble might not require impossible universe-breaking amounts of energy after all. With a few clever adjustments, the energy demand drops from cosmic levels down to something like a few hundred kilograms of negative energy. Still exotic. Absolutely. But now, it's not totally out of reach. That tiny lab-created warp bubble, it proved something massive. Warp fields might actually exist in nature. And if they exist on a microscopic scale, who's to say we can't scale them up? And just when you think that's wild enough, over in Germany, things took another leap. In 2024, researchers at the University of Potsdam ran simulations showing what warp-style distortions would look like in gravitational wave data. They're thinking, if an alien civilization has already figured out warp travel, maybe they left behind ripples, subtle fingerprints in space-time. If we can find those, we might be able to reverse engineer their tech without ever meeting them. So where does all this leave us? Are we hopping on warp ships next week? Not quite. But the pace of discovery? It's seriously accelerating. More scientists, engineers, and even major space agencies are now seeing space-time as something we can shape, not just fly through, and that changes everything. If space is like a fabric we can twist, stretch, or fold, then we're not just building better rockets, we're rewriting the playbook entirely. We're talking about traveling to distant stars in days, not centuries, sending messages across galaxies almost instantly, tapping into brand new forms of energy, maybe even accessing dimensions or realities we've never even imagined. Warp travel isn't just a sci-fi dream anymore. 
it's becoming a serious scientific possibility. And with every new breakthrough, we're not just learning how to explore space, we're learning how to reshape our future. Because maybe, just maybe, the road to the stars isn't a road at all. What do you think? Could warp drives really be the next giant leap for humanity? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And hey, if this blew your mind even a little, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a cosmic update. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll catch you in the next video.